In this video, we're going to learn about the token pasting operator in C. So the token pasting operator is a preprocessor operator. Sometimes it's called the merging or joining operator because it joins two tokens together into a single new token. So the preprocessor is the first phase in the compilation of a C program, and it performs mostly text substitution operations. So for example, we could define a function like macro, print, and the print macro will accept a single argument. And what we'll do is call printf to output a string, and we'll supply x as an argument to printf. Now what's really going on here is text replacement. So if we declare a character array called big apple, and we initialize it with the string big apple, we could use our function like macro with big apple. And if we save our program and compile it and run it, we're going to get the output big apple. But really what's going on here is a text replacement operation. If we run the compiler again and we use the dash E option, we can see the output of that first phase of compilation, the preprocessor. And if we open up the D output file, we're going to see the result of that first phase. We'll see that the print function like macro was replaced with this call to printf with big apple in place of X here. What we can do with the token pasting operator is essentially a merging or joining of two tokens. So for example, if we were to put big pound pound here or number sign number sign, this here is the token pasting operator and it's going to join these tokens together. So for example, we could just have Apple here now. And if we compile our program and run it, we'll get Big Apple again. Let's compile the program again with the dash E option to see the output of the precompiler phase. So we'll run it and we'll check out the file. And we see that we have Big Apple here again, the same as it was before. So again, that's because Big was merged with Apple and we got Big Apple here. So for example, I could make another character array called big pair and we'll set big pair to the string big pair. We could use our print function like macro again and this time I'll just supply pair. So we'll save this, compile our program and run it and we get big apple big pair. If we run the compiler again with the dash E option, we'll see that we now have two calls to printf with big apple and big pair. So now we have this prefix big that's been joined together with whatever we supply for X. So that's the basic idea behind the token pasting operator. Let's do an example now that's a little bit more real world, let's say. So we'll make a struct for representing commands. We'll say type def struct, and we're gonna have a couple members here. We're gonna have a member for the name of the command. We'll say car name 100. And we'll have a member that's going to be a function pointer. It's gonna be a pointer to a function that's going to be called for this command. And we'll give this type of struct the name instruction. Then we'll create two functions that could be used with these function pointer members. So we'll say void add instruction void and this add instruction, we'll just print out add instruction. We'll also make a subtract instruction. So we'll say void subtract instruction void. And then we'll have a printf and we'll output subtract instruction. Now in our main function, we can create an array of these instructions. We'll say instruction instructions to create the array and we'll say is equal to and then to initialize our array of instructions we'll have add as the name of the instruction and add instruction as a function to be called for this instruction then we'll have subtract and we'll have subtract instruction for the function to be called for the subtract instruction now with the way we've done things here 
we're repeating the name twice. We have add and add and subtract and subtract. We're going to use the token pasting operator to eliminate this duplication. Before we do that, let's actually just print out the instruction names and call the functions for each instruction just to make sure this is working right. So we'll create a loop and we'll print out a new line followed by the name of the instruction. So we'll output the instructions at i.name to output the name of the instruction. And then we'll call the function for this instruction. So we've got a loop here that's gonna go through the instructions in our array of instructions. And for each instruction, we're just gonna output its name and we're gonna call that instructions function. So if we save this and compile our program and then run it, we get name add for the add instruction and then we call add instruction and then we get name subtract and we call subtract instruction. So it appears to be working. Let's use the token pasting operator to simplify the initialization of this array of instructions. So right now we're repeating add and we're repeating subtract. Let's make a function like macro to simplify this. We're going to say instruction add, and then we'll have comma instruction subtract. And we're going to make a function like macro called instruction. And this instruction function like macro is going to help us initialize each instruction by repeating the name of the instruction where and when we want it to. So up here, we'll define our function like macro. We'll say number define instruction name. And our function like macro is going to produce the replacement text open squiggly, close squiggly with number sign name, where the number sign operator here is the stringizing operator. It's going to take the token and turn it into a string literal, which is what we want to initialize the instruction name. Then we'll have name number sign, number sign, underscore, instruction. And here we're using the token pasting operator to merge name with underscore instruction, which is going to give us the name of the function we want for that instruction. So we'll save this, we'll compile our program, and we'll give it a try. And we get the exact same result as before. And if we use the dash E option to look at what the preprocessor's done, we're going to find that the way our array was initialized was exactly the same way as before. The only difference is this time we used our function like macro and the token pasting operator to perform text replacements that prevented us from having to repeat the name of the instruction twice when initializing our array of instructions. So this is how we can use the token pasting preprocessor operator in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.